Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. So we are going to watch, it's a continuous series of videos, you know, and so this time um, it's uh, from Josh Moore that, you know, I've seen before on one of uh, uh, African Travelers videos. And so it's Wodemaya congratulates girlfriend on reaching 200,000 subscribers. So Miss Trudy, congratulations. And I think that you're doing a tremendous job and yeah, you deserve this and you're underrated. I feel that you can have more subscribers and, you know, but you're almost there. And so this is another milestone and it's a good job. So. Let's see um, what uh, this is all about. Okay. It should be togetherness, not competition. Um, hey, need a mic. It should be togetherness, not competition. If you're meeting somebody in here and then you love something that that person is doing, feel free. And tell him or her that please can we collab together mm -hmm. i wish i can collab you know i don't know if you guys saw the video i did in nigeria i, I love meeting content creators because i learn something new from people mm -hmm. that i meet every single day so don't be too much of numbers you know oh i have more numbers than this person i have more no, no it's not about numbers have you seen people with million subscribers but when they upload a video nobody watch them mm -hmm about the content be authentic you know what that is so true that is so true the numbers mean nothing the impact is everything collaboration will help you grow uh, you will uplift each other it's just put the competition mentality aside because I feel it's it's a toxic trade where you feel that you're better than the other one so you don't want them you don't want to give them your platform and it's not right I mean the person you're collaborating with might only have like 50 subscribers, but then you can gain those 50 subscribers and help grow your channel. You can exchange ideas. So I agree 100%. Being authentic means, I know my girlfriend is here. I said this, she's going to be mad at me, but I mean, I'm so authentic to the extent that I don't like wearing shoes. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just being me right. because I feel like anytime... What is he holding? Is it a, like a bone? A nyamachoma bone? <laughs> well, guys, let me know in the comments below. What is he holding with a hand? But I don't like wearing shoes. What's that? Is it nyamachoma? It looks like a nyamachoma bone, you know? Mm, let me know in the comments below. And I hope, Josh Moore, you will watch this video. Maybe you can tell me uh, what he's holding. Sorry. I mean, I, okay, I'm, yeah, okay. I think it's never Choma he's eating it. Okay. I'm just, I'm just being me, because I feel like anytime wow. I'm me, I feel so happy. I feel good in my own body. So on YouTube, just be yourself. It's like do your own thing. I used to say some something those days like everybody. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. What are you edits and just, just edit it out. <laughs> because. When you say A, the people are going to say it's B. Yeah. Yeah. They were not there. Yeah. But they, they will talk as if they were there when you are filming. Yeah. So you need to have a thick skin. Right. See, those days, let me tell you something about me. When I started making YouTube videos, I was so scared of negativity to the extent that anytime I upload a video, I don't want to read comments. I just, the video goes public, and then I bang my laptop and I sleep. I wake up in the morning, open with one eye, <laughs> just to see that are people insulting me or not. Mm. But now, let me tell you, I guess when you show your face, when you decide to actually be on YouTube, on television, uh, on social media, you, you must be conscious of the fact that you will get love, but also be conscious that you will get hate as well. And so you must develop the thick skin, as you said, and nothing should att attain you, actually. And it should, like, motivate you in a way. So I understand completely. It's difficult because we're human, you know. But just tell yourself the person behind the screen. They're just behind the screen. If they were face-to-face -face with you, they would be like, oh, my God, I love you, and blah, and blah, and blah. But behind the screen, it's so, behind the screen, 
it's so easy to, you know, just to, to hate. So I feel that, um, yeah, you need to really embrace both worlds because we'll get the love and the hate as well, but it shouldn't stop you from going where you want to go. If you don't insult me, I get so sad. Why is nobody insulting me? Because negativity yeah. helps on YouTube. Right. You need it. If no one is hating. Let me tell you, even, yeah, the dislikes on YouTube work as well. They help build your channel. You know, it's engagement, you know. It doesn't really, it doesn't like stop, it doesn't tell YouTube, oh, people don't like this. No, people are watching and they, they like or they don't like. So it helps, it helps build uh, your channel as well. When you go to village market, go to the best shopping mall in Kenya, go there and ask them, can I buy HS here? <laughs> because you need haters to grow. Right. If you are doing something no one is hating on you, please, it means that you're not doing the right thing. Trust me, you need that. So I'm just going to tell you, me, I don't have anything to say. Whatever I'm saying is based on my personal experience. YouTube is big. YouTube is a platform where you do what you enjoy doing and you get paid at the end of the month. Are you it's a job. It's a job. It's a full-time job. And that's why we really ask people to just subscribe you know turn your post notification that's free because you see the you know the work that is behind you film you edit you know the sound the these and that the equipment and and so on uh and i feel that you know it's nice when you like somebody's content just subscribe to the channel and yeah just watch the videos and just show support because it's a way of helping them you know bring you more uh content as you know as time goes doing what you enjoy doing right now or are you trying to be like somebody else no. be you mm -hmm. I, i'm gonna say this over and over again be authentic see sometimes when you <laughs> when you are a youtuber people think that you are jobless has anyone told ever yeah. told that you're jobless yeah. <laughs> but like people that are calling me jobless sometimes i look at them and i'm like god why, why is this person calling me jobless is it because I carry camera around? But I will tell you that YouTube has changed my life, man. I was an introvert. Like, those days, I wouldn't be here starting here. Hey, everybody! Yeah, no. <laughs> I'll just be in my yeah, room. Yeah, you guys, this guy is earning millions and millions, you know. And no, he's not jobless. Of course, it takes a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of time editing and this and this and that. But by the end of the day, the rewarding is just unbelievable on YouTube. If you're serious about it, if you take it as a full-time job, if you have like a good niche, if you have good content, uh, you can make a living out of YouTube, you know? So, yeah. But YouTube has made me an extrovert. Immediately roll the camera, I know I have to say something. I have two, how do you call it, characteristics. Okay, yeah. I, I can, when my introvert person comes, you might think that this is not what am I. I won't even talk to you. I don't know what's up, what's going on. But when the other guy comes, hey everybody, and then you just get out of the place. So let me tell you, I want to ask a question. Eh? Do you think YouTube went full time? Do you think like YouTube is something that you can do full time? Like, yeah. Yeah. are you all monetized? Yeah. Yeah. Let me let me also educate you on monetization it's very important that i say this sometimes i read comments i watch every youtuber i, I watch every african youtuber so first you're talking about africa i watch you i read comments from people saying that oh they are getting coins you know coins you know like peanuts yeah, yeah. they are making peanuts i'm like wow <laughs> where are you getting that from listen if you are getting peanuts it means you are doing something wrong you see, Miss Trudy, she organized the whole party. Hey! I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the only person I get. But it's not all about the number of subscription that you have. It's about where are people watching you from? So many of you, you do videos, you can't stop speaking Swahili. Oh, on a joa, on a joa, on a joa. Be that person that everybody can relate 
get to. You'll be in Kenya and you'll be having an audience from Namibia. There's a lady in Ghana that I went to Namibia. I was just in a car and I saw somebody watching this lady. The lady is from Ghana. And I, I just asked her, why are you watching? She said, oh, I love her. I'm like, wow. Namibia watching somebody from Ghana. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm just... I'm just drinking <laughs> the wisdom, <laughs> you know, so I, I, I agree with him 100%. It depends on your objective and your goal. If you want to reach just Kenyan people, then you can speak the local language, the Swahili or whatever. And then do you want to reach the African, um, you know, audience, then you need to, you know, you need to speak in English, international English as well. So it depends on your objectives. And I feel um, yeah, and there are so many factors as to how you can make money on YouTube. If, I don't know if you know, but of course you need to have 1,000 subscribers, uh, more than 4,000 watch hours and so on. But for that, it takes a lot of time, a lot of hours. So yeah, so support, uh, you know, YouTubers that you like and you enjoy. So if you like what you're seeing right now on my channel, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe, guys, please, and help me build my channel and reach 1,000 subscribers. Anna, so... Be that person because that will determine how much I'm, how much money you're gonna make at the end of the month. Yeah. I'm showing you my secret. It's not, it's not about having hundred thousand views. It's not about have. I can have ten thousand views. I make money than somebody living in Kenya with a hundred thousand views. Right. And still, people see you and they think you are jobless. So it's all about finding the right audience. Yeah. YouTube can help you start so many businesses. YouTube can help you. Jeez, man, I, I wish I can someday sit down and talk to people about, you know, how much I make on YouTube. But yeah, I, how much? How much? We want to know how much. I can talk to Please. I will just throw you down. There. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's, 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 it's all about building an audience from different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. And with less amount of people watching you, you're out there boiling. Right. I'm not saying, you know, when you when YouTubers love chilling, man, like, they, they know that 21st, I'm gonna get a salary. <laughs> so, they're just gonna finish all the money to 20th. <laughs> and 21st, when they get the money, they start all over again. And, when it comes to content in Africa, there's so much to do. Diversify your content. I'm just gonna say this right. again and again and again. It's all about copying somebody. It's all about diversifying what you do. Mm. Evolving. That is the way. Mm. Evolve. See, we are dealing with audience. They get tired of one particular thing. Mm. Me, I get tired of my own self. Like sometimes I'll be there and I'm like, why am I doing the same thing over and over again? Do I have to bring something new? And that is what. I always pray for God, please open my mind so that I'll be able to get different content yeah. for people. And I feel, and the fact that you, you interact with different YouTubers and different people, then they give you ideas, you know. When I started my channel, I just knew maybe two YouTubers. And as time goes, you know, YouTube suggests more African YouTubers. I'm like, wow, so it's a whole community. And so from this meetup, I got to know about Mungai Eve, you know. And I'm like, wow, so it's just, you know, just the, 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 what do you call it, the, the network, you know, just keeps growing and, you know, you just get more ideas from that. So listen, I, I, I agree with him 100% diversify and invest whatever you have invested back into your business and then it will grow and then you can start, you know, making babies and other businesses, investment, um, whatever, you know, so listen because I'm listening carefully and I'm taking notes and anytime I find new content I get so excited my recent content that I've been doing that now I feel like it's getting boring is like entrepreneurship series in Africa mm. those videos change my life man see I'm, I'm sitting down with people who worth millions of dollars and right. I'll be like how did I get here mm. it's possible you just have to diversify whatever you do. And believe me, stay true to yourself. Be you. You will get there.
do I have any question before I sign up for sign out for the day? Come on, Liz, you have a question? <laughs> you have a question for me? What inspires you? Yeah. Impact. Not numbers. I mean, like, when oh, I Oh, wait a minute. So does it mean that light bulb moments, her name is Liz? That was her, right? <laughs> you have a question for me? What inspires you? Yeah. Yes. Impact. Okay. Not numbers. Okay, so now I know light bulb moments, her name is Liz. I mean, like, when I see people like, oh, because of you, I moved to Africa. That is my one of my biggest inspiration. I, I met a man who, at the airport in Ghana, when I was moving from Ghana to South Sudan, he cried when he saw me, and then he put his hand in his bag wow. and then brought a bunch of dollars, and like, this is for you. I'm like, God, Lord of Jesus. <laughs> Lord of Jesus. I mean, and he, he was just going to America. He's like, you know what? It's because of you, that's why I'm in Ghana. And I'm mm -hmm. going to America to pack all my stuff and come back again. Mm -hmm. He just put his hand in his bag, all the dollars, he gave it to us. And I didn't want people to know that I have money, so I gave it to my camera guy, you know. <laughs> Hold it, when it gets south, then I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I believe that's why it's very important that Africans now are telling the African narrative and just showing another light, you know, because we've seen for so many years, all we see about Africa is hunger, children with flies all over their faces, and stuff like that and I feel that the young people it's your duty to change the African narrative and so that explains why people are so happy about uh, you know this particular example where the guy was so happy because of you know what for my um, what the Maya portrays about Africa so it made him you know come to Africa and you have so 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 many Africans um, you know in the diaspora or other people with African origins going back to Africa because they're seeing a different light about Africa. So yeah, it's the impact that really keeps you moving. Mm -hmm. How long have you been on YouTube? Eight years. Eight years. Ah, you see? So you see, patience is the key. More than eight years, I think so. 2013. So now, is it more than eight years? 2013. And those days. You upload a video, you start making money all of a sudden. But I didn't even know. I didn't know there was something like monetization. Mm -hmm. I, I had a lot of views without making money. And then somebody came to me like, oh, Maya, the, the, the girl is from Botswana. It's like, Maya, you don't know that you can make money? On I'm like, I don't know. I'm just doing what I enjoy doing. And she showed me mm -hmm. and my first salary. The way I showed a lot. What did you finish the first salary? What my did you do? I'm telling you, my first salary on YouTube was $900. And I gave it to my father. Yeah, I gave it to my father because my father didn't want me to become a YouTuber. Because I'm an engineer and my father is like, you know what? I take you to school to become an engineer, not a YouTuber. So I just wanted to prove a point to my dad that, you know, I can make money more than I you. So my first YouTube money, I gave it to my father. And it worked. Because I came back to Ghana and my father gave me a car to go and make YouTube videos. Wow. Yeah, it worked, yeah. Right. So, and yeah, don't let people stop you from your dreams, from your vision, be it your parents, your siblings, your friends, you know, because y your vision, you know, is your vision. Your ambitions are yours and not n nobody else can see them except yourself. So do not be disappointed because they're not supporting you. Do not be mad at them because they're not supporting you. Just show them with the results, hard work, hard, oh my goodness, I can't even talk because just work hard, <laughs> work hard and let the results talk for themselves. Do not, you know, expect your family, your friends, whoever, whatever the case may be, support you because your vision is yours and yours alone, okay? And let the results, you know, talk for themselves and don't let it stop you. Just go on with your journey and do things that you know that please your heart do not do it for other people but for yourself you know just do whatever it is that you want for yourself oh do i have more questions yeah yeah ever since those eight years of coming uh, your first challenges what are the challenges and how have you overcome them you know mm -hmm. you watch your own self my challenge my, my first biggest challenge is no one was watching me <laughs> i was watching my own videos you know i post a video and then uh, i refresh myself and then uh, and then I see the views and I start dancing. I never knew I was, I was the same person who was watching my own videos. Why does it happen to all of 
this. I guess we are all the same. You know, you've watched it like 10 times and you're happy and you're like, oh, I have 10 views, but you're the one who watched them. Nobody else has. And I think all of us can just recognize, uh, you know, that we've done it. We've all done it. All of us, you know. I started my channel on the 10th of May. That's when I posted my first video. And it was the case. I was just like five views. It was mine. Ten, it was still mine. And now more and more people are engaging. They love the content. So thank you guys so very much for supporting me and for watching my videos now. You know, that was my biggest, like, and let me tell you, the first day I had 500,000, 500 views, I ran from fifth floor to first floor just to come and dance. Because <laughs> I was so excited to see 500 views. Right. And, yeah, major challenges, money, you know. When you start in YouTube, you don't have money. Uh, I started YouTube with Samsung S2. I don't have. But now, I think I have a lot of gadgets, you know, so... It's money, income, it's tough, mm -hmm. especially when you're broke. Right. So, you know, YouTube needs investment. Have you ever worked an incredible job? Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I don't want to go back. And that is why I always tell YouTubers, don't think about the fame of YouTube. Think about the business aspect of YouTube. Okay. Don't think, oh, I want to have 100,000 subscribers. No. <laughs> How much money do you make at the end of the month? How much money do you have in your bank account? Not be flashy. Uh, oh, my goodness, the bone. I had forgotten the bone in his hand. He's just been holding that bone for how long is this video? Like 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> he loves some nyamachoma. Okay, okay. But you're right. I miss nyamachoma. You get your money, start wearing shoes, buying cars and all of that. Mm. You know, it just listen, YouTube platform doesn't belong to us. We can lose your channel any day, any time. YouTube is even changing policies every day. But can I ask you a question? If YouTube change their policy today, will you be able to survive? Or you have to go back to ninety five? I'm not going back. Hell no. Yeah. Hell no. So always try and, and mm -hmm. invest in the money that you get. It's a lot of money on YouTube. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, that is why I always, when I meet content creators in Africa, I always tell them that. We are the future of content creation in the world because Africa is still unexploited. See, if you're a content creator in Africa, that's what I keep on saying. Diversify your content because, listen, even travel content creators, they have to come to Africa before they start getting views. They'll mm. be in the Maasai villages, Maasai this, Maasai that. Mm. But we are here and we see them and we feel like, okay, what are they doing? See, I'm, I'm a victim. I never wanted to visit any tribe to do videos about them until I went to South Sudan. Even when I went there, I didn't want to do a video about them. But the video that I did is currently having 2.2 million views in a short period of time. So content creation in Africa is lucrative, but I would say that the time is now for each and every young African to take part because the future is so bright. Like, very soon, Netflix will be buying content from Africa. And who is the person who's gonna sell the content to them? You don't have to let a white man come and sell content. No, you, you you have to be the one to sell content to Netflix, sell content to whatever platform that you want to sell content. So I believe it's the future, and I mean I'm so glad I'm part of the future. You know, so and you better be part now before it's too late. Thank you. Liz, I don't know if I have questions. Hey. I had a question, but you No, listen, if you have a question, I will answer. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Okay. I want to say thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. And, uh, you know me? I just want to say I enjoyed my Namachoma. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for coming, and we'll see you all on YouTube, yeah? Yeah. 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 I mean, when you upload a video, please make sure you tag me. I'm going to share your videos okay. to everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations! Yeah, Woody Mai is such a generous man. You can just tell how generous he is. So, 
you know, and just by promoting African YouTubers. So every time I, yeah, I was on Instagram and yeah, for sure, he really, you know, promoted them and posted them as well. <laughs> because it's always like a lot of drama after that so I understand you completely but honestly I feel that you should continue collaborating because you, there are so many other beautiful youtubers who are you know who are ready to who are mature enough to appreciate the collabo and who are also willing to grow and you know and you know just interacting with people and then it just gives you it just diversifies what you're doing and I feel of course, you've had bad experiences, but that should not stop you from continuing, you know, with other, uh, collaborating with other YouTubers. So don't stop there, girl. Just go for it. Just prove them wrong. I mean, the bad experiences are part of life, and I feel that you should, um, you know, pick up collaborations with other African, Kenyan YouTubers as well. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what to say, but I really, really, like, from the bottom of my heart, I love you, and I want to tell you guys to just never give up. I think yeah. nothing. Me, I just say, I mean, I just want to give up. Me, me. No, sure. Me, me. And you deserve more, Trudy. Really. At this point, you should be at over half a million, you know. Yeah. Like, I, I go, I'm there, me, my bed, looking at it. 
each other, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I saw all these guys and I was like, oh my God. Ben. Ben. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> oh my goodness, just listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at each other, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I saw all these guys and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness if you didn't hear so ben is uh miss trudy's editor so video guy and so someone just said i mean if nobody turned out for the event then ben would have placed people in the video just to you know just to make believe that there was a huge turnout so he's capable because ben honestly he's a very he's a very good editor i guess one of the best in the game so so that's why it's so funny. He's capable. <laughs> ben. <laughs> ben will get caught. Ben will get caught. So I okay, okay, love you guys. Thank you for coming. We love you. 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 Well, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Oh, this video was so nice. So thank you so much, Josh, for sharing the, that inspirational moment, you know, and we as young YouTubers and growing YouTubers, we are learning so much from this series of videos and it's so inspirational. Um, and so if you haven't watched the other videos that I've done about, um, you know, about uh, Mungai Eve and Wodemaya and Trudy, and, so make sure you, you know, you watch those ones as well because they are giving us nuggets and just showing that when you're coming together, you know, uh, as you know, as a people, you grow, and I guess that's the biggest uh, lesson we can get from this one. We can just see how Trudy, Wodemaya, you know, light bulb moments, the African traveler, Josh Muo, um, you know, and Eve Mungai, they there's this togetherness as YouTubers, and that is what is making a difference. Uh, among the community. So guys, if you enjoyed my video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. And so until next time, thank you so much. And thank you so much, Josh, for this beautiful video. So bye guys. Bye-bye.